Hey, howdy everybody, how's it going? If you were on my Patreon and you saw my video, I did uh, my reaction to Chevelle Sci-Fi Crimes, you'll know that I just got back from vacation and I got this hat on vacation and I need to find some use for it because I will not just wear this in my daily life. So I guess I'm just going to try wearing it in these videos just as I talk about music and see what happens, even though it's kind of stupid, but who cares? Anyway, I got a request from, <coughs> I'm assuming his name is Marco, but he's doing a, th uh, a thing with like the, the A, I'm assuming, where it's like flipped upside down like the V, like, you know, you know how people do that. Um, so it says Mverko. Um, but he asked me to listen to one of his songs, um, Absence Whispers, by what is, I'm assuming, a solo project based on what I can see in the description about what I'm seeing here, because it says music and it's just him, Ocean Wither. So yeah, nice little fun solo project. And he joined my Spotify song tier, so now I'm making a video on it. I listened to that song. I recorded a whole video on it, I talked about it, and uh, then I realized that my mic wasn't recording. So something went wrong there, that something being I had to take my computer apart to fix something with one of the fans, and when I did so, it apparently reset my inputs for my mic, and something weird happened, and so it just didn't record, and I didn't think anything of it because I've never had to change it before, but it didn't record. So now I'm back, and now it's recording. So I messaged him, and I'm like, "Hey, the footage is unusable. Um, can I, <laughs> can I react to something else? Is there another song?" So um, they actually just released uh, "Ocean Wither." Just released "Ocean Wither," being Marco, just released another song uh, two days ago. At the time of recording this, this is today is Sunday, June sixteenth, and this was released on June fourteenth. So I'm really interested to hear this. Uh, first, I'll talk a little bit about the first track that I heard. So if you are not interested in that, and you just want to see my reaction and commentary on this and you can skip the the first track I heard. I, I really enjoyed. <clears throat> um, I said a little <clears throat> I'm dying. Sorry. Hey, it's good for vocals, right? <clears throat> now I sound like um, Dickie Allen or something. <clears throat> right? No. Um, anyway. <clears throat> I don't know what's up with my, my throat today. I'm not cutting this out, by the way. I'm leaving this in. Anyway, I, I really liked it. It was like eight and a half minutes long, and it didn't feel like eight and a half minutes. And I really love songs that are longer like that, but they don't feel longer. They really use their time wisely. The different sections were really interesting. It kept it intriguing throughout. I didn't feel like any sections dragged or anything. I felt like it was a really well-structured song. The only negative I had, and this is just a personal thing for me, is when I listen to instrumental things, like I'm primarily a vocalist. I mostly like I, I sing and play piano. That's my thing. And if there isn't really a vocal line, I like when instrumental songs have some sort of vocally adjacent thing for me to latch on to and sort of use that to carry myself through the song. So when I listen to something like, and I've got the vinyl up on my wall, something like Every Sound is a Color in the Valley of Night by Night Verses, <clears throat> when I listen to that, each song has some sort of lead guitar part or something that acts as a vocal line, and it's easy for me to like sing along to that part or like hear that part in my head and like think how it's going to go. And I grab onto those things much more than any riff or guitar solo or like ambience or anything and i think that might be maybe why i don't like uh invent animate as much maybe because they're more so heavy on the ambience and i am way more about interesting vocal lines so that might be that uh anyway <clears throat> that that was my only negative for that song is that the ambience was really cool and i read the the description thing like what the song was about and that was that was really cool i'll read it now just for people who are interested uh but if you want to check that out i would oops that's not it if you want to check this song out i highly recommend it it's really good uh absence whispers refers to our mortality and finiteness to the inevitable losses that come with our impermanence in life the marks and emptiness we leave on others after our departure it is inevitable. Time will reduce me, you, and everyone to ashes, erasing all traces of who we once were. First we will be, then there will be the memories, 
But after that, only memories of memories will remain, reducing us to recreations formed by the minds of others. Thus, in this fiction, we may think that we will live a while longer. After our physical existence, we will live a while in the minds of others. Over time, our mark will blur, fade, fade away, cease to exist altogether when they have forgotten us. And if we refuse now to let someone die, we should feel that fire, that desire to get that person back, keeping alive the pain of their absence. In other words, we keep our hand on the knife, preventing the wound from closing. Then, asking not to be forgotten becomes a self selfish act. We do not want to cease to exist altogether at the cost of seeing those we care about suffer. As hard as it may be, this scenario is not a punctual misfortune, but a shared grief. Time will force us to play both roles, the role of one who misses and the role of the one who is missed. It is not a choice. Time only knows one direction. Time knows only one direction, I think. Today we feel the pain of loss. Tomorrow we will be the ones who will have an absence, who will have left an absence in others, of which we will be ignorant as it is part of the process of disappearing. I'm just seeing there's an Arcane Season 2 trailer. Sorry. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Leaving life behind, navigating the waters of death, death and oblivion, heading towards being nothing at all, total non-existence. Yeah, so that's <clears throat> that's what this song is about. Um, really interesting concept, interesting song structure as as a whole, and that's kind of what I feel a lot of art is. It's like a desire to create something that will allow you to be remembered past when you die. And like me personally, as someone who believes in heaven, like a place we go after we die, it's still a desire that I have to leave my mark on the earth and have something for the future generations to see and to have, like see of what I created, what I did with my life. And that's kind of what I'm doing with this channel a little bit and also with some of the the covers and the original music that I'm, I'm working on, things like that. So yeah, the, I, I, I feel this, that that desire to to not be forgotten it's it's a, it's a deep concept all right uh anyway i'm gonna check out this second song which is solitude drowning grip let me read a little thingy about this solitude is the first of the pillars have you ever woken up in the middle of the night with uncontainable anguish palpitations needing to sit up in bed to regain some calm that's what i call the solitude embrace it is also present on those days when you wake up with the sun on your face, and even in the limited lucidity of someone who is still in the transition between reality and sleep, you realize that the room is flooded with that silence. That silence that can only be generated by the total absence of another soul. The solitude's embrace is somewhat particular. It is one of those things that has always been there for you, waiting with open arms for your return. However, its familiarity and unconditional acceptance are only deceits because its embrace suffocates and its hand only pulls yours to continue sinking you in a cycle that feeds back to perpetuate its existence in your being. Solitude. Solitude. That's what that's what this song is about and the pain of being alone. All right. Let me get into this. I am excited. Here we go. Ocean Witherer, Solitude, Drowning Grip. Visualizer. Some of those rhythms are a bit Polyphia adjacent. I said this in the other video too that got lost, but the production is great. So hats off to the, the production people.
Ooh, bass. Y'all know I love bass. Oh my god, dude, the bass with the atmosphere? This is so good. <laughs> oh, the noises. Oh, <laughs> this is so sick, dude. The choir. Excuse me? Mm. Oh. Oh, no. What? just gonna go back to the how are you gonna go back to this after that ah I fat fingered the the mute key on my keyboard sorry <laughs> that's all that was I need to find a better placement for this mic. Part of it's covering up the screen for me. I can see now. Oh, this is beautiful. switch up wait a minute okay I knew there was something happening I didn't think that was the full six minutes <laughs> There's that weird chord again.
with the piano, bro? I need more. So, oh, seven minutes. Well, I, I, I don't know where I got six minutes from. I thought it was six minutes. Seven minutes? Dude. <laughs> okay. I... This is not me saying that the other song I heard was bad by any means. But this song was infinitely better than that, in my opinion. That was that was incredible. Um, when I rated the other song, I gave it a seven, and this I would easily give an eight point five to a nine. <laughs> this was this was incredible. It had it had like everything. It had beautiful atmosphere. It had the like this part. It had those weird noises, which is something that I also love. Like with songs like these they either need like these instrumental songs they either need like i don't know they they need something that that grips me for me to connect with it and what really gripped me were like those beautiful chords in all the the little softer instrumental sections the piano at the end the choir the strings these breakdown sections which are like insane with the like glitchy noises and and like thal I, I don't know what was going on here, but like, like this thing. Like that, that was so, it's, it's blurry. And then this part where it slows down and the choir comes. Oh, wow. That's so amazing. So for the majority of the song, we're kind of in the key of E minor. Yeah, that, so that... That weird chord I was talking about, because we're in the key of E minor, it was... It's not really necessarily out of the key. It's just a weird sounding chord. And it added more intrigue to this beautiful, gorgeous, softer instrumental part. That was like, cause you have like beginning part, that heavy stuff, a little more softer stuff, more heavy stuff than this outro part. <laughs> I I am such a sucker for piano in metal. Even just like a, that little bit of piano at the end was so cool. I think that's part of why I love something like Shadow of Intent because they use a lot of piano orchestral stuff. Same with like Make Them Suffer and like their piano usage. It's so good. I don't know. Piano just it, it's it's such a weird instrument because it's a it's a much more softer kind of generally not as heavy instrument but then if you can get it to work in a song like this even just for that little outro bit oh it's beautiful this is incredible <clears throat> yeah there is not really any chord progression i can really talk about because the chords were weren't really in a progression they would just kind of happen which was beautiful Like, I heard that a little bit in the soft section, um, but it was more about the atmosphere. 
And I know I just said that atmosphere doesn't always get me, but if it's atmosphere with some really good chords like these, I, I do like it. <laughs> so I'm very... I guess there's not really one thing or another that makes me like a song, but if something is done well, I really like it. I... Yeah. Oh my goodness. I think... I think this really captured that solitude feeling in those softer sections really well that it was going for that I read from the description. That was done super, super well. Um, I'm trying to think of more to say, but I mean, that's, that's about, that's about it. It's just, it was so, it was so great. I really loved the, the, the breakdown section here, especially with all the weird switch ups and the, the little alien noises and things big fan of that that's so sick i don't have any major complaints for this song like i i really don't I, I don't know i don't know what could make it better um for me i i do prefer vocals and music as a general sort of thing i like music with vocals over instrumental music so if i'm if i had to criticize something it'd be the lack of vocals but it's one guy doing this so i'm not gonna say that that's a detriment to the song this is a 9 out of 10 track this is probably going to be on my top songs of the year list <laughs> almost almost for sure this was incredible i am so glad that uh, that that video didn't work out and that i was able to hear this song as well because this is incredible because i don't think i would have checked this out uh otherwise because I, I not that i think it's bad like and i wasn't gonna hear any more of it but i just have so many requests and so many new albums and everything that's dropping to get to i'm kind of overwhelmed i think i've got let me let me check my list as of right now i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve albums that i have to check out so i'm kind of a little bit um a little bit overwhelmed with things right now but i'm catching up slowly so i'll get to everything don't worry about it but yeah this is this is easily a nine out of ten track the more i think about it the more i love it i i'm I'm already adding this to my playlist. I'm going to listen to this more. This is this is incredible. Thank you for this. Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And also some housekeeping stuff here that I'm going to... I should have said at the beginning, but I'm going to say at the end. Um, if you go to my link tree in the description, you will see on there I have two playlists that are on my Spotify, so you can follow those playlists and listen to the music that I like, not all of it's metal. There's one playlist that's for like lighter listening, which is more like, I don't know, you, you, you got pop, you got funk, you got bluegrass, you got uh, some metal stuff on that one. Um, and then there's one that's strictly for more like heavy, sol, deathcore, like that kind of stuff. So go check those out. Uh, if if you're interested, if you're interested in hearing some of my music that I like just over the years, you can go check that out. Go follow my social medias. I'm on Instagram. Um, I'm also on Twitter and TikTok, but my my TikTok, I, I just repost videos basically. And then, and then Twitter, I'm like hardly on ever. But go check those out. Go follow those if you want all that stuff. Go check out my Patreon if you haven't already. There's some nice benefits there you guys can get uh, take a look at. So... Yeah, uh, I promise I'm going to catch up on everything. And also, this this Thursday, this Thursday night for me, at, in Central Time, United States, this Thursday, I will be streaming Shadow of the Earth Tree. And I'll be kind of doing that like every day this weekend. So come check that out. If you don't want spoilers for that, then I will turn that into uh, a video edited series on my channel so you can watch that later. So just a heads up. All right, housekeeping things over. I think that's everything. Goodbye. See you on my next video. Peace out.